more can you fucking say about that, eh? That was absolutely shite. Absolutely shite. I have no idea. Fucking Joe Hart has lost his fucking head. Freaking Hodgson's lost his fucking head. I think Deli Ali's forgot how to kick a fucking football. Harry Kane just freaking hasn't freaking got a freaking chance of header in a freaking ball towards a goal. Sterling is so freaking woefully crap. And oh, I just don't understand. Why did Hodgson take off Dyer at half time? He's been by far the best player in England's team this freaking whole tournament. And he goes and takes off our best fucking player. He's a. Oh, Hodgson's a fucking dick. What the fucking hell was he up to? England as a whole were an embarrassment. Absolute embarrassment. I mean, let's get it right, you know? Apparently, a stat was. I read that's. If you were a, if you lived in Iceland, you got one in three thousand chance of actually getting into the national team. I think like half the national team play part time, and England are losing two one to them. You know what? If if we, you know, I'm actually glad that Iceland got through because let's be honest, like you know, it's it's nice to see someone actually going through with a bit of heart and a bit of soul. I mean, I think freaking Gareth Bale was right. Freaking, we have no freaking pride in our freaking team. Wayne Rooney is being played out of position. You know, he's not a he's not a midfield player. You know, and he's not the best. He wasn't the best striker before the beginning of the tournament. And they played him out of position just so he could freaking go. I'm sorry, if you freaking, he shouldn't have went in the first place, should he? Really? <sighs> oh, by the way, I'm recording outside because. Um, I was worried I was going to start shouting and screaming and getting freaking pissed off, so I uh, didn't want to wake up and my uh, get babies. I just, I don't know, I don't see where England are going to go from here. Roy Hodgson's going to get the sack or he's going to walk out the door tomorrow morning. Joe Hart, man. Oh, God. Freaking hold on to the ball. I just wish Jack Butland was freaking still fit. Jack Butland was still fit, then I would reckon he would have started instead of Joe Hart. Whole freaking England squad was absolutely diabolical tonight. I think we need to scrap back and just start again from fresh. Brand new manager, brand new start to the World Cup. You know, going forward um, for qualifiers. Get back to playing proper English football, as in the Premiership. You know, getting all the players back to the Premiership. Get our five boys back to Spurs and get them playing back with uh, you know some decent players. Some decent centre backs, some decent wingers. You know, I mean, to be honest with you, the Spurs, the Spurs boys. You know, I mean, obviously being a Spurs support, I'm going to be a bit biased, but you know, I mean, they are great players. They all five of them are absolutely amazing players. When they're playing around, other amazing players. But I believe that you know, some of the you know, Sterling was woeful. Sturridge, I don't know what he was freaking doing. Wiltshire, freaking oh. Oh well, onwards and upwards. I suppose I might as well uh, start supporting uh, my second team. Got a couple of Belgian players in there, so uh, a couple of Bel Spurs players in the Belgian squad. So I'll uh, start uh, supporting Belgium for the rest of the uh, tournament, and uh, hopefully uh, look forward to the beginning of the season at uh, Spurs. Got a couple of friendlies coming up soon, so I might do a couple of reviews on those games. Well, I will do some reviews on those games. Got. Um, Juventus coming up, and then also, who's the other one? I think it's Atletico Madrid, um, playing in the Australian Cup or something along those lines. So friendly, just a couple of friendlies. So I'll do a couple of reviews on those games. I'll make sure that I watch them, however way I can. Um, thanks very much for watching the video. Uh, it's the end of the series for um, the England reviews. Like I say, going on to the Spurs reviews. Um, subscribe if you're new. Uh, give us a like if you appreciate the video and um, see you on the next one. See ya.